Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, here's one uh, that, I don't know, if you if you blinked, you might have missed this one. Uh, Jeremy Corcoran was promoting Canandaigua at the point, and he put together a mall show out at Eastview Mall in Victor, which at the time was a very, very successful mall. And uh, this, was, this was really something. This was a nice show that they put on at this one. Had my whole family with me on that day. And this was on March 26, 2011. And I was really paying attention. My spidey sense was up because I was going to be racing in a few months myself. 2011 was the only year that I did that. So there's Eric Jaguar. And I believe that's his dad on the right side of the picture. As again, this mall was really hopping. So even just to get pictures without a bunch of kids around them and stuff like that was was not an easy thing to do as there's Eric's car. How many of you guys remember this guy? Daryl Hollywood Hillkurt as he was out there. My daughter's actually got in, got a photo with him as well. Uh, Chad Homan, you remember this car before the late model days, back when Dig Track was uh, his primary sponsor, and there he is right there. Had a few with Chad here lately, as there he is with Mary Lou in the pit area there, or excuse me, in the in the mall, making sure to get that sponsor in there for him. Kane Bristol. This must have been early in Kane Bristol's career. Charlie Donks, famous pizza logs, number 99. Bob Cordova, again, thank you for all you did for all the racing. The Macedon Missile. And we're going to see him in just a second. Chuck Hebings, number 45 out there. That was back with Wilkins RV. Not sure if that was a Ford or not because it's North Coast Performance. And notice it's in a little, almost like a little blue oval like you would see in a Ford. So I wonder if this was a Ford that he was driving at that point. And like I said, I was paying attention to driver cockpits, everything. I was planning on driving a whole bunch of stuff as uh, we got a chance to look inside. There's the, the loop that goes around the drive shaft in case that happens to come popping out. It doesn't smack you in the leg. Um, but sprint cars, obviously, man, there are some of the craziest things out there. There's Charlie Donk. We miss you, man. We hope you're doing okay. Of course, had a really bad crash out at Canandaigua, and we hope you're back, um, you know, 100%. Paul Hobex, familiar number 25. Not sure if he's still got uh, Northeastern Pool and Spa or not, but I hope you're doing well, Paul. Mike Mahaney. Wow, how old does Mike look here? This was 11 years ago. Hey, Mandy. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> And uh, this, I believe, is Justin Henderson. Um, it's Todd Henderson's son. They opened a bar, so they had some sponsorship, like from Coors Light and people like that. So um, nice to see you guys. I actually saw uh, Todd at the racetrack in Canandaigua this past year. So nice to see Justin here hanging out with his car. You know this one right here, and I'm not sure if this was the year that of his infamous flip or not, but uh, Mike Cooper was the driver of the 715. And this was the year they had a lot of metal trophies. They had them CNC'd and everything, and boy, they were really turning out some nice trophies at Canandaigua Motorsports Park. There he is. There's Mike Cooper. Remember him from the big flip at Rolling Wheels a few years ago. Not sure if that was the actual car. There's Eldon Payne Jr., uh, let me see, were his kids around yet? Yeah, they were probably about the same age as mine at that point. Um, so they were not racing yet, but had a feeling that they might be somewhere down the road. One of our uh, street stock drivers brought his car out. Nice to see. And there is A.J. Lloyd, with the old Fox's Auto number one. And this, I believe, um, I'm trying to think, I believe it's Brian Schwartzlander. Um, I'm not sure, but this was the guy he raced. He was like me. He could get a little excited sometimes. And, um, he did the thing. Remember they had the little sprint car frames they would bring out, uh, to the racetrack and everybody would race on the video games against each other. He was one of the guys who did that. So, and him and I had a little fun with that, uh, over the years. Hope you're doing well, man. And here he is in front of his car right there, the 38 special. Nice to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. I haven't seen him in a while either. I know I know this guy. I can't think of the name. I, I, I zoomed in to see if it was on the roof, but uh, not. Obviously, his last name was Northrop. This was back when they encouraged the guys to put their names on the bottom of the car. There's Bubba as we catch him once again. Took some time off, but was back this year and actually did pretty well in the hobby stock division. And here we're having a little fun with James Sweeting. That is not James Sweeting. Um, he was probably 16, 17 at the time, but uh, hopping in there to get a little FaceTime is Justin Wright, driver of the 19. And there you see the double zero, the famous double zero. Um, good to see you, man. Mike Welch. And, oh, there's Mike. Okay, I thought I had a picture of Mike in there next to his car right there. Still racing today. Now uh, a dirt official as well. And there's our last picture uh, with Dan Wiesner. Mall shows, man, we're going to miss them. I found out Southern Tier Speed World is not happening this year. It appears the new owners have no interest in uh, bringing people in. 
for a record-setting weekend in February or March. So if you get a chance, give them a call. Let them know. I know that Fonda is still doing their show at, at uh, Viaport Mall. And uh, so if you know of any others, please let me know, guys. I hope you like these. Uh, enjoy the duels tonight. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Hit that blue E. That'll subscribe. You were real close to 2,000 now. A couple more guys and girls do it. And we're going to be there. Thanks for watching. And thanks for all your support.